Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another wonderful video done by yours truly, the Mighty Hapseya. Today, I'm uh, making good on some promises. I told a lot of people, I said every day for quite a while, that I was going to make a doc guide. I've replied to a couple of YouTube comments that I'm going to be making an, an opener guide for how to play a doc opener. This is a doc opener specifically for maps like Black Forest, where you get a very safe dock and your opponent cannot harass your dock. So keep that in mind. This is only for maps where you cannot get harassed when you make your dock as early as possible. So let's get right into this. We're going to resume the replay. What we do is we start up, we send six workers to a close tree, we rally a couple workers, we go and grab some sheep. I'm going to go a little bit faster through this. So we're going to rally four workers to food. And then after your first drop off with your wood, you're going to grab one of these woodworkers and they're going to go make a lumber camp for you. So big brain stuff. We're going to get our second drop off of wood. We're rallying more workers over here. We know that this tree was going to run out of wood before this guy could get there. So what was going to happen is they were not going to fill up on wood. And then they were going to return home, right? Like, you see this one return home. So we've got our wor our workers rallied to the sheep. We're not going to... I'm not going to tell you too much about what the scout's doing because we're not worried about that too much. Everyone knows they need to use their scout to search for sheep and search for the hunts. So we build our house on 10 supply. And then our worker that built the house... He, normally, you can turn in first. But you build the house and you send this guy off on his merry way to go build the dock. So now we have four workers on our food. So we rally back to the wood because we're going to need a lot of wood to power up our dock because China builds boats five seconds faster than everybody else. We found our opponent with our scout. No big deal. We're not worried about it. You can try and check to see if they have a dock if you're interested in doing something like that. But I wouldn't worry too much about it while you're trying to get the execution of build orders down. So... China builds boats faster, right? So we're going to queue up our boats here. We have enough wood for two boats. But the thing is, is we don't have the income to build boats continually over time yet. So we had a little bit of wood floating when we built our... When we built our dock, which means that we get to Q2, so we've got 40 seconds to gather wood before we need to build a, a third boat, right? So we, our second boat is on the way. We could Q our third boat right now. We get to eight workers on wood, and then we rally back to our sheep, whatever our sheep may be, or if we really had to, if we were really sheep poor, we could rally to our berry bush, but that almost never happens on this map. So the plan is... So we're going to get to four boats, right? We're going to continually produce workers rallied to our sheep. Well, we get to four boats. We're going to build our fourth boat. And then we're going to build our second house right on 18 supply, 18, 19 supply. And then when we get our fourth boat, our workers that are on this food are going to go become gold miners because we need to get our feudal age. We really need that feudal age real bad. But we're going to stay rallied on our food at our TC. We're going to continue making workers. Um, you can split up the boats like this. I'd say like three or four boats is the most boats you want on a single fish patch. Because when they get to be more than four, they're having to like dance around each other. And it causes them to have a lot of extra travel time. Which is a real bad thing, right? So we're continuing to rally to our food. We're continuing to rally our boats out. Our scout is continuing to search the map. Don't worry about that too much while you're doing this. Yeah, as you get better at executing the build, you can spend more and more time focusing on your scout. So we have a little too much gold right now and not enough food. So we have to just wait for our barbican. But you want this gold anyways because you're trying to work your way towards uh, the extended lines upgrade and the forestry upgrade. So we're going to start our Barbican. And I'm going to just put it here to protect my gold and my stone. And what we're going to do is we're going to have four guys pull off the gold. Three of them are going to build the Barbican. One of them is going to go build walls for us so that we can be safe versus things like early feudal knight aggression. 
longbowman aggression, regular archer aggression, horse, or, horse aggression, all of that stuff happens a little bit after five minutes. So we go build these walls so that we can protect ourselves as well as we can. At this point, I'm gonna pause the game real quick here. At this point, right? If your intention is to make a second town center, you're gonna pull all these workers off of food and you're gonna pull these workers off of the stone. And you, or you're gonna pull the workers off the gold and the food on the town center and you're gonna go mine stone. And you're gonna quit making boats. You're gonna get to like eight or eight to ten boats. And you're gonna quit making boats. And then you're gonna go mine stone. But if your intention is to go castle age, you're gonna leave these guys on gold. You're gonna leave these guys on food. And you're gonna have a lower amount of workers on wood. So that's kind of how you're gonna split this. Like if you want castle age, you're gonna pull four workers off wood so that you only have four workers on wood. Because what you want to do is you want to bank wood to be able to make production structures and uh, houses. Because you're going to stop building boats after 8 to 10 boats. And we're going to get our barbican here. And we have our wall off. Hopefully our wall off protects us from whatever early aggression happens. But we have our feudal age now. And there's the divergent path of do you want a second town center? Or do you want castle age? If you want a second town center, you're going to make an archery range or a stable right away as you get the stone mining going. You don't have to use it right away, but you need to scout your opponent and find out if they're being aggressive or not. Um, that's as far as I want to go in the replay because this is only about the dock and not about the follow-up to the dock. The follow-up to the dock is very much your decision and it's about what you want to do. And... I'm going to say that I prefer to go to Castle Age as quickly as possible because the dock counts sort of as a second town center in that it lets you produce units that act as workers. So getting a second town center is like getting a third town center if you're playing with a dock opener. So going for Castle is a very strong objective and it will help you get powerful units that can help you defend against Feudal Age pushes. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. That was a quick dock opener. I'm doing a lot of learning in this game still, and I hope that I can help other people learn and gather knowledge and improve and enjoy the game over time. Thank you very much. Hit the subscribe and the like button. Have a wonderful evening or day. Peace.